Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our program brought to you by the Topoco Lodge. The folks at the lodge have gone ahead and moved into their winter upkeep mode. So while they prepare the lodge and property for 2021, you can too. You can visit topoco.com to go ahead and book your stay from mid-February on. The Topoco Lodge is a great place, and you're going to learn a lot by checking out topoco.com or their Facebook page. The Topoco Lodge, if you've never seen it, you need to. Start booking now. Okay, let's take a look at what Tennessee's schedule was supposed to be. I was looking at this this week, and I thought it was kind of interesting. How much difference would there be for Jeremy Pruitt hot seat-wise if this is the schedule you'd play? Now, obviously, we don't know how it shakes out. Could have been different, but just based on what you've seen this year, all right, you you probably beat Charlotte, Furman, Troy. Now, you, I would have said you probably beat Georgia State last year. But you probably, that's three more wins. Oklahoma didn't start the season well. Mm -hmm. But I still think you lose there. If you played Kentucky later in the season instead of earlier like you got them, do, do things change there? My guess is you're probably a six-win team right yeah. now. Yeah. Fans are screaming. They're hot. They're not as hot as three and seven is going to be, in my opinion. Am I right? Am I wrong? What do you does this schedule change your opinion at all if Tennessee goes if, if Pruitt faces this instead of the ten game SEC schedule? Well, if you if you replay that that Arkansas Kentucky back to backer, if you blow an Arkansas lead on the road against a first year coach and then you come home and you get run off your own home field by Kentucky, that's quite a one two punch. Uh, and then I think here, yeah. and then I think there's two things that I think are people overlooking on that schedule. If you play Missouri a little bit later, they probably figure out that Connor Bazelak is their guy. Yep. And secondly, I watched Troy give Coastal all they wanted yesterday. And if I am playing Troy late in the season and they've got a pretty motivated bunch, hmm. I watched Tennessee get beat and run off their own field by Georgia State last year too. I don't think Furman or Charlotte would have had the horses, but Troy, yep. if they don't beat you, they might stay within single digits, and that's like a loss. And if people Tennessee. forget, Georgia State, Tennessee scored late to make that a one-touchdown yes. game. Georgia State beat them handily last year. Uh, does that protect Pruitt at all a little bit if you play that schedule instead of the schedule he got? I think slightly just that you wouldn't have had the amount of time that took place without Tennessee winning a football game. Uh, the Missouri game was the first thing that came to mind, mind as well. Do they, do they figure out Basilac and just let's throw slants all day? <laughs> yeah. may, may, you know, it's not a 35-12 yeah. to 12 game probably at least. Yeah. So I, I think it helps slightly, but fans would still be unhappy. I don't know, maybe, maybe you're, not doing as, you're, not, you're not having as many issues in recruiting because you don't have the same kind of negative attitude toward the program. But overall, it, it, it'd still be, still be on the minus side. And your victory over South Carolina this year, it was one deep ball was the difference in that game, basically. Yeah. So that one was close, too. Uh, Sterling, does that make a difference? I, I think, I, personally, I think it makes a big difference. And this is why anytime you're playing straight SEC games, everything changes. But if you look at that schedule, we were favored in those games in the beginning. Oklahoma was not playing well in the beginning. Maybe South Carolina makes the same change they made right now by the time we get to them. Maybe Kentucky has them thought process where we can't beat Tennessee and Neyland by the end of the season. And then Vanderbilt's unfortunate situation they're in. Now, we have a, a, that, that may be putting us at six to seven wins. And Tennessee fans want undefeated seasons. But it's not the record we have right now. And I think given the normal, normalcy of that schedule, you know, I think it's been a lot lighter on Coach Pruitt and his entire staff having played the normal schedule. All right. Very good. When we come back, we're going to look around the SEC quickly, but I want to talk about bowl games because, hey, Tennessee, if the games get played, Tennessee's in line for a bowl game. If Jeremy Pruitt goes to a bowl game and becomes the first Tennessee coach ever to lose eight games in one season, it's possible. Would that then force Tennessee's hand to move? A bowl that could cost him. How much? We'll talk about that coming back on the Sports Horse. they told me a newborn king to see Barumpa Bum Bum. Our finest gifts we bring.